Litecoin to the moon? Question mark. As we've been watching Litecoin just continually climb and climb and climb, it is up a significant amount over the past couple months and has recently been even outperforming the likes of Bitcoin or Ethereum. In fact, it was up about 17% on the last 24 hours just as of the time of this recording. So it is one of those tokens, it is one of those altcoins, it is one of those that is close and dear to my heart. Everyone has their own project they're behind, the own, their own crypto that they think is better than everyone else's. And each person obviously has a right to do so. But for me, it's Litecoin and there's a reason why I mine it. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about whether I am more profitable with the L3 Plus or the L3 Plus Plus, what some of the things you should consider before ever hooking them up, and some things that I learned kind of going the hard way uh, of what not to do. So I hope to share that insight with you, maybe share some knowledge. If you're stuck between getting L3 Plus or L3 Plus Plus, hopefully this will help you out and I'll be providing some insight on some discounts coming for those uh, that as I have a partnership with a distributor, they'll be able to get you guys some fantastic discounts based off of retail prices. So stick with me throughout this through this video so I can kind of let you know what the, the opportunities are with these miners towards the end of the video. If you do find value, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm yet to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications so you're notified when I drop a video. And if you do want early and exclusive access, there will be a link down below in the description for the private Discord. I hope to see you in there. With that being said, let's jump into the video. So crypto as a whole has had a massive run today. Litecoin itself is up right as of now, 13.09%. It was at one point getting close to $220, which has you question as far as the profitability potential of what I would consider relatively cheap ASIC miners. They're at least more you know, affordable than, than most are eight, ten thousand dollars out there. Um, but in today's video, we're going to be drawing a comparison between the L3 Plus and the L3 Plus Plus. Now, on the surface, you see 504 mega hash and then you see 580 mega hash. Well, there is going to be some things that come into play, especially when it comes to the amounts of voltage that is coming out of your power supply. So one of the biggest things and the biggest learning lessons I had is the fact that one with being able to tune with Hive OS, that's the uh, firmware that I use for my uh, Bitman L3 Plus and the L3 Plus Plus, what I've come to realize is I can tune the L3 Plus to the same capacity and capabilities as the L3 Plus Plus because the L3 Plus works quite well with 120 volts. It's not specifically made to run on 240, um, but it's, it go, does well on both. It will be more efficient on 240. Now that is quite contrasting with the L3 Plus Plus as it is more designed in many ways to run more efficiently on 240 volts versus 120. So I've come to realize, and we'll look at this in just a second, that I'm sometimes getting a more hash rate from the L3 Plus than I do from the Plus Plus. So it's very interesting and, it, and what you'll come to realize is each miner is unique because oftentimes none of these I purchased were brand new. Uh, two that I have right now, I have four more coming in. They'll be delivered hopefully this upcoming week. What you'll have to realize is each one is unique and specific to kind of the, the tuning that you wanna use for it in order to optimize the hash rate without just going crazy on overall wattage usage, which is very important when it comes to your outlets. Realize, and this is kind of the majority for most, an outlet is typically designed, one specific outlet on 120 volts is typically designed for about 1800 to 1900 watts. So if you see that these are pulling 800 watts and each one is pulling 800 watts, that means you're really limited to a max potential on one outlet to about two units. So do realize that, but then you also have to think about amperage because you don't want to trip your breaker or cause any issues with the power supply or anything like that. Now, I will let you know I am not an electrician. I'm not a licensed electrician. These are just kind of the basic things you have to understand and realize that all of your other devices 
typically on that breaker are on the same circuit. So they all share that amperage. So realize that when you're, you kind of have to do the numbers, especially when you're trying to maximize the power potential without burning your house down. So I've come to realize that I can run a maximum of two of the L3 plus miners with a higher, uh, a little bit overclocked and we'll talk about the setting that I have personally without having to really worry about me getting close to even tripping the breaker. Now it is a 40 amp breaker in each one of these L3 plus miners will use anywhere between about six to 7.5 amps. So theoretically, if you had other outlets, you could use a few more of these, but I would really caution someone to try to put 10 of these all in one circuit breaker is probably not the wisest decision. And I highly recommend that you consult an electrician before making a decision like that. Preferably 240 volts is what is designed for the L3 plus plus. Therefore, when I'm running the L3 plus, I'm not getting really the full potential of it. And in some ways I've had to kind of dumb it down a little bit in regards to the overall, uh, overclocking settings of the device. Now I use Hive OS, it is free. So I only use the free version. It works perfectly fine for me. I don't really need uh, anything else currently. Maybe as I add more ASICs and all that, then maybe something like, you know, getting the paid version or something like that would make more sense. But for me and for you, for most people, this will work completely fine as free. Now, and to go down here, also realize this is it's gonna show you all the details of this miner. So if you're interested, asicminervalue.com has a lot of fantastic info. It doesn't just, but it doesn't show the amperage that's used. Now, one thing I will say is that this number here, I would not consider to be accurate. And in fact, I'm more profitable than what it shows here. Even if you're counting electrical costs, and we'll talk about that as well in just a second. Now, this is my first miner. This is the L3 Plus. Now, you'll have to realize the average right now is 498 mega hash because it is a used unit. That's why you also have these malfunctions that show. Theoretically, you want zero on everything, but with used devices, ones that obviously have been run pretty uh, pretty hard, they're gonna have a, a few things here and there, and that is where you can go into the minor configuration and actually auto-tune the chips manually to the proper frequency. So there are things you can do, a lot more advanced things, but for most people, when it comes to the minor configuration and you go to the auto tuner configuration, I like to my run mine at 610 mega hash with 890 watts. And if I'm doing both of them at around that overall range, I have this one at 890, I have the L3 Plus at a lower wattage. Um, and it's just what's seem to have fit the miner the best to get the perfect performance out of it. So what we're seeing is 740 plus, uh, what was it with the other one, 890. So what we're looking at is right around 1,630 total watts being used out of a max of about 18, 1900. So I'm not really trying to push it. You can, it does give you the option to go all the way up to 1300 watts, but realize that if you try to push both to 1300 watts, more than likely you're gonna cause a breaker to trip and that could mess up your PSU. I learned that the hard way. My PSU went out on me and I had to order a new one. So don't make that mistake. Don't lose about 200 bucks to get a new PSU. Um, and also, if you are going to flash the HiveOS, the, the HiveOn ASIC HiveOS firmware onto these devices because they have to reboot. And so they, uh, when they reboot, they're gonna run a bit higher so they can kind of test pretty much all levels. Don't firm or don't try to flash the firmware on both of them at the same time. That will also cause your breaker to trip. So just some of the lessons I learned the hard way that hopefully you don't have to uh, learning from my mistakes, but it really didn't cause any uh, major issues or anything like that to be concerned of. Now, one of the things that I wanted to try out was to see how long it would take me to earn one full Litecoin. So overall i've been kind of calculating what you will see here is for about the first week excuse me for about the first week it was just the one minor and then i added the l3 plus plus and that's when the rewards started going up much higher you can see i was earning about 
uh, 0.05 Litecoin per day. And then when I added the new one, it was just under a tenth of a Litecoin on a daily basis that just gets deposited and you start earning passive income on it. So let's go ahead and jump into my account. We'll see how much Litecoin we have earned. So as you can see here, we have the first one. So right here, uh, just had to hide the username. This right here, oops. Um, let me lower this down here. So this one right here, the first one, is the L3 Plus, which if we erase this real quick, we see is running at 513 mega hash. And the L3 Plus Plus right here is running at 477 mega hash. But you can see over the past 24 hours, the L3 Plus Plus does just barely beat out the L3 Plus on an average, but both of them combined give me just under a tenth of a Litecoin per day. Now, when we look at the overall revenue from that, what we're gonna do is just use the last 24 hours. You can see that overall from the past two weeks, one week having just the L3 Plus, the other week having both of them, we earn about 1.5 Litecoin. Now, if we do some calculations and we see that the current price is around $211.88, uh, multiplied by the last 24 hour earnings is actually $18.92, which is a far cry from close to around $16 as was expected from the L3 Plus. I'm not exactly sure what that has to do with, maybe because this offers merged mining where you're mining Doge and Litecoin, that may be why the overall earnings are slightly higher, but do realize that with the litecoinpool.org is probably the best way to actually do the calculations of how much you're going to earn. Because if you do the computation here, I'm gonna change this price very briefly, because it's currently at 212.42, and we hit enter, you can see that overall rewards are much more accurate on litecoinpool.org than on Bitmain ASIC Miner, which shows $8.48, well, when we go over here, it's $9.28. So it's a much major difference in a lot of ways. Um, and that is with the 504 mega hash with around 810 wattage. Electricity right now, obviously, I don't pay for electricity. But once I do, it'll be about 10.48 cents per kilowatt hour. So we're going to see an overall profit of around $7.24 per day now this has been changing and the overall profitability has gone down slightly just because the overall network difficulty has continued to climb when we initially talked about the network difficulty for litecoin it was about 9.1 million or so now it's sitting at 10.7 million so it's drastically gone up and i expect it honestly to continue to go up as the price of litecoin just continues to climb higher and higher but for those of you who started mining back when I initially talked about it, you have done very, very well. And for an example, this is what we're talking about. Now, I started Litecoin mining right around the beginning of August. I deposited $300 into my BlockFi account. I keep a lot of my stuff in other accounts that have a lot of more different cryptos. But for my interest, I keep it in my BlockFi account. And you can see just passively just depositing it and it allowing to gain interest, how fast that has grown. Sure, it doesn't grow you know, 100% in one day, it's accumulative, but you can see that $300 has now turned and doubled, now getting close to around 700 as the overall price of the token increases. And oftentimes people don't think about it as the price of the token increases, so does your overall value that you've already pre-mined. Now talking about this and the opportunity that you just earn that passive income, I had a fantastic opportunity to talk to the CEO of Unbanked, which is a incredible company, incredible opportunity in what they're doing with different projects, especially in blockchain and crypto. But they have partnered with the Litecoin Foundation to bring to us what is called a Litecoin Visa card. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna spend a whole lot of time on this, except for the fact that I've applied for it, it's completely free and you pretty much can pay for your Starbucks, like I mentioned in the video yesterday, uh, you can pay for your Starbucks with a, with Litecoin, which for many of you, you're just gonna hodl it, you're just gonna hold it, et cetera. But for many of us who you wanna kind of take that passive income and just you know, go buy something with Litecoin that you just mine passively, this is really, really cool. I think it's fantastic. 
I have one coming, it should be here within about a week or two, and you can attach it, there's an app, there's a wallet, uh, and, and you can pretty much just connect it to your wallet, deposit your Litecoin into there, and then you, as soon as you make the money, go get yourself some Chick-fil-A, right? But it's, it's really interesting. I thought it was fantastic. I never heard about it until I saw a video on it. I was like, this is cool. Um, and I thought it was unique enough to share it with you guys. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Maybe some of you already have the Litecoin Visa card. I'd love to hear maybe if you do what you think about it. But I hope this video was insightful. Hopefully it, it gave you some insight on kind of some things you should consider, some things do and don't from my mistakes. Uh, and in the end, I personally am a big believer in the L3 Plus compared to L3 Plus Plus. And if you're gonna make a decision without this being investment advice, maybe push your way towards the L3 Plus, which like I said, I have a, con uh, a contact with a distributor in China where we can get them for about two or $300 less than retail value. Once I can get the ones I ordered from them and hopefully this week, test them, make sure they're all quality. I'll be able to share that out to the rest of everyone here so you can save yourself some money if you're interested in getting invested in mining Litecoin as Litecoin goes to the moon. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications so you're notified when I drop a video. And if you do want early and exclusive access, there will be a link down below in the description for the private Discord. I hope to see you in there. Until next time, guys, stay invested.